Yes, welcome to your economics classroom. I am Lavala Tunji, your tutor. Welcome to Estimator Adetunji Education Consult, a platform that is majorly uh, built and laid down for students, candidates especially those that are writing terminal examination call it neko white jam pursuit tme igcse sat and others as we have all known that this platform is to help and to empower candidates to get distinction in their various subjects so that they will be able to also have admission to their various university without wasting time i want us to start working as we are following we are in the season of neco 2025 and economics will be reaching the next few hours and here we revise any question we have with our student which we know 99 percent that the question most was must have a reflex at least it must come out so question one has been settled in our first channel estimator adetunji Please do where to watch that on our channel, Extreme Now, here, question two, question three, and the likes will be solved. If you can see the solution of question one that was made in our first uh, channel, if you want to watch it comprehensively, go to our first channel. Now, I'm going to question number two. To our returning viewers, welcome back. To our new viewers, welcome to the economics classroom. Please do well to press your subscribe button, turn on your notification button, like and share and put your comments in the comment box. This is a classroom, please. Pick up your book and pen and you also will solve it together. Question 2 is a statistics question. Where we are given the mark obtained and the number of students, like us we are told to find the arithmetic mean, the variance and the standard the aviation we are going to solve everything right now all what i need from you try to watch the video from beginning to the end don't skip any part you are doing the writing exam all the information that you need for tomorrow or for the exam yes i think it's tomorrow this is okay this is for today rather because this is past 12 it's already you have everything here and even at the end of the video we still give you even in between and at the end of the video there are some uh tips again that will help you in today's examination all right i call this place solution question two question two let's be focused question two the question as a data let me draw my table x f What are my x value? I have 10. I have 30. I have 50. I have 60. I have 70. I have 80. And they put their frequencies there. They said this one is 5. 8. I believe you can see my table. 14. 6. 3. And 4. Since I want to find me. You know the formula for mean is summation fx over summation f. Tell I need fx. You can see the way I'm explaining it to you orderly. fx means f times x, right? So continue multiplying with your calculator, multiply everything. With your calculator, multiply. With your calculator, I'm giving you a chance to do that within a few minutes. And put your answer in the comment box. Do that so that I used to check what I am writing if I'm on if my own is correct or not, or your own is correct or not, so that we can be on the same page. So, with this, I think I have achieved my f of x sum that is I need to add up. Adding it up, I'm having 188. Adding this one up, I'm having 40, which shows that my arithmetic mean the first question arithmetic mean. The answer will be what? 1880 over 40. 
from my own calculator press your own calculator from my own i'm not seeing your own i go for the same confirm it and put it inside the comment box i move to the next one they ask us to find the uh, variance we are asked to find the variance when you talk about variance i'm very glad to let you know variance is a square of standard deviation which means that elevation is the square root of variance so when you talk about variance you can write it like this or you write it like this yes this say the same thing since i picked up this one the formula is summation f x minus mean square over summation f all what you are seeing in your formula means that you must create a table for it that is i need a table for this x minus mean square and i need a table for f times this thing as well so because i don't want us to take much time uh but i need to do it orderly as well because you are the one writing the exam and they will mark you step by step now let me create at least i need the column for this i need the column for this because you are presenting myself and i need the last column now which f at his back can you see the y percent of my column i don't just do my column for form because it is needed that's why i am doing it because it is needed that's why i'm doing it but here we are going to do it together i want to know if you are following me or you are only following the answer you know you are doing writing exams better the lady team be part of you that yes i've worked this thing so you're able to work it with that carrying any book so now i say i will engage you how will i engage you i will not do this place but i will explain the way you do it look at it now what is my x my x is 10 then what is my mean 47 10 minus 47 what will be the answer you also know 10 minus 47 is what minus 37 i felt i will only help you to do that the first one if you score that if you square that minus 37 you will get one three i don't want to i i don't want to take much of your time that's why i'm making it so fast one three six nine and likewise this side times this i mean times f f times this i'm getting six eight four five i have helped you to do uh the first one so i will not leave the rest for you put your answer in the comment box because i will make it to let you know that if you are correct or wrong i'll fill this place and this place for you so you are the one to fill this place so i have two eight nine if you have done this place right you get this place i have nine here i have 169 i have five two nine and I have one zero eight nine. So here I'm having two three one two. I'm having one two six. That is square. I'm squaring. Okay, this times f. This times f. This times f. I continue. I have next one. I have one zero one four. One five eight seven four three five six. It's actually sum it up. So when I sum it up, I have one six. <coughs> I have one six two four zero. And my summation F is forty. So which means that I can have four that one six two four zero divided by 40. if you press the calculator very well you will get an answer and what will you get you will get four zero six you get four zero six which means i have gotten my variance if truly you are following me and you have understood we are explaining the right time the relationship between variance and standard deviation you're supposed to know the answer of standard deviation put your answer in the comment box i will pause for a while waiting for your answer for your standard deviation oh. 
So what would not be the standard deviation? I've told you the relationship between the variance and uh, standard deviation. I told you variance is the square of standard deviation, which means standard deviation is the square root of variance. So what will be the answer? Put your answer in the comment box. If you have done it right, this is how you present yourself. You say standard deviation. That is S equals to square root of variance. And what's the variance? The variance you got here, square root of 406. So my standard deviation is 20.15. And that's how we finish question 2. So question 1 has been done in first channel. Please do where to watch the first channel. I will drop the link of the first channel to where to watch it. In the comment section in the comment box we see there and likewise question two have been solved the link for the remaining question question three four five six seven and the like also will be dropped in the comment section some of them will be solved comprehensively and which will be placed inside our whatsapp uh, channel just click and follow the whatsapp channel it will take you there, you will see all those ones and you copy, they are mostly uh, theoretical or no calculation so you don't need to be bringing it out here so you also you will see by yourself you extract, you see the question you, see, you also know, you see the answer as well so, I will be waiting for you in my next video come physics the following day We'll be meeting again also for physics. We're also meeting for mathematics. Our the questions also on physics and, and mathematics are out. So please do we just turn on the notification button so that we'll be able to see the indication whenever we are releasing videos. God bless all of us. I wish you distinction. Bye.